So today I'm in Palestine, Texas, established in 1846 and home to the Texas State Railroad. And so I'm going to take you on a tour of this town and show you some of the highlights. So right here in the downtown area is the historic Island Burgers Bakery since the late 1800s. They've got a lot of delicious sweet treats inside. So this historic home is the Howard House Museum and it's available for tours by appointment. Next stop, the Railroad Heritage Center. So now we're here at the Palestine Depot of the Texas State Railroad. Fun for the whole family, I highly recommend it. There are different types of cars that you can ride in. They serve snacks. But every Texan should ride the Texas State Railroad at some point. So the train pulls up right here and you go for a ride through beautiful East Texas Piney Woods to the town of Rusk, turn around and return. It's still a couple hours before the Texas State Railroad departs from the Palestine Depot, but this is the diesel engine that will transport you. When I came a few years back, we got to ride with the steam locomotive. It was a great experience. Just to the north of town in a gorgeous hilly landscape is Davy Dogwood Park. This is a great place in the spring to see the dogwood trees in bloom. And from what I hear, there are literal fairy gardens off the trails in the woods. You gotta go out and find them. Let's see if we can track one down today. Here we are at the fairy garden trails. And it looks like there's been some activity here. Oh my goodness. This is an absolutely gorgeous forest and I highly recommend coming to Davy Dogwood Park. The fairies have been at it again. Ooh, found the fairies magic mushrooms. Both children and adults will absolutely love it. What a treasure. So it just so happens that we're here the day of the Dogwood Festival in downtown Palestine. Several blocks have been set aside for this event.
plenty of places to walk around and see downtown, such as Old Town Vintage. This is the gorgeous and historic 1890 Sacred Heart Catholic Church. So this is the beautiful and historic Redlands Hotel, right in the downtown area. In the 1915 Palestine High School building, is the Museum for East Texas Culture. Unfortunately, it appears to be closed at this time, but it does look like it has some really nice exhibits. Well, now I know why this is closed. Just talked to an old couple walking around here, and they said it closed about five or six months ago, and the plans are to demolish this building because they can't afford to maintain it and restore it like it needs to be. So, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful buildings in the entire town. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. Former Congressman and Senator John Reagan believed in states rights and fought the railroad monopoly in the late 1800s. So this historic building once housed the International and Great Northern Railroad Hospital constructed in 1884 and served the employees of the railroad. And I'm glad they still have a purpose for this building today. So it looks like the building in its current form was built in 1921. 